Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips, Action Auto Parts. Uh, it is a, potentially could be a nasty day. We're under like a tornado watch until like 12 o'clock, I think tomorrow or something like that. Uh, but right now the wind's pretty calm. It's supposed to be pretty breezy today. So I thought before it did pick up and I'm still out here to the junkyard. If it gets nasty and stuff, I'll probably go home. Peg's down on the bottom lot. Felicia stayed home today. And uh, so, here we are. Yesterday, kind of got some other stuff moved around, and uh, I went from having like one Impala to all of a sudden I've got five Impalas. So we moved them around and got them all in a row. So uh, we'll start here on the end, this Impala uh, LS. It's a 2005, and uh, we got it uh, a few weeks ago over in Danville, Kentucky. And the people just said it was started running rough and they didn't want to spend no more money on it. So if you look at it, man, it's a, if, if it was cleaned up, it'd be a good looking car. So that's got some really good parts on it. Uh, so we'll hopefully, I, I don't even know if I've got it listed yet. I think I've got it listed. I don't have the other one listed yet. But uh, so that's one. I'd like to take this time to ask you to give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and subscribe. Then next is another 2005, uh, ironically, both the same year and the same color. This in here has been a little more uh, abused and beat up on uh, a little bit, but uh, runs, <clears throat> but smokes, uh, as the old saying goes, like a freight train. You know, the head gasket and stuff's bad on it. Uh, with the white smoke, you couldn't hardly see the white car uh, in it. Unfortunately, between the two, I don't have a good passenger fender. That was the only bad spot on that one over there. Then, uh, so I've got two 05s, and then here is uh, an 08, uh, 2008. It runs, but the transmission was bad in it. And I've sold a few things off of it already, but it's the 50th anniversary. Wow. And look, there's Barney. If you haven't done it yet, uh, yet hit that subscribe button and uh, and maybe even ring the bell. I hardly ever ask anybody to ring the bell, but ring the bell so you get some notifications when I get some other stuff posted. And so the plan, which uh, I don't know, I was kind of letting Peg just piddle around with that little Nissan truck down there. Bless his heart. He he loves that truck, and he's got it running. He wants it pretty bad, so i got to figure out what we're going to do there. Uh, but if this rain's going to hold off for a minute, we may try to move a couple more things mm -hmm. around. Uh, one being were uh the 2013 ford truck sat there and this maroon 06 impala was sitting here and we just pulled it straight back uh <clears throat> i need to move uh this stuff this uh two tars and wheels and uh the dry shaft i think goes down to that uh ford uh 2013 ford truck of course, it's starting to sprinkle again, but I wanted to get this stuff kind of cleaned up and pull this white Dodge, which was on the very bottom lot, and we're going to park it right here. So other than a couple old Dodges on the vintage lot, that would have my 98, 03 uh, Rams and then the 05 uh, Durango. And then I'm trying to just get everything scooted back. <clears throat> and this van's going to go to the bottom lot because it's, it's in pre-80s. And then... Uh, this little Fairmont wagon will go to the bottom lot as well as the uh, Chrysler Cordova. Uh, so that's going to open up this row a bunch. And in doing so, I'll probably grab this Sequoia and snake it back to where the van's setting. And I'll probably grab this Element and pull it back between uh, the Sequoia and uh, that Charger uh, or if it's easier, I may just put it right here. Whatever's the easiest. Uh, I've got two of these vans. A white one back there and this one. In the midst of all of that moving around, I may try to put them together. But I, I'm not going to worry uh, a whole lot about that. But uh, yeah, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. And hopefully we don't get the wind. Or, uh, <clears throat> that tornado stuff is, is pretty scary stuff. So I guess... In uh, saying all of that, I'd like to uh, ask you to uh, to leave a comment. Please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Get back here and shut the doors. Uh.
people will get stuff out of them. And a lot of them are pretty good about uh, not leaving a mess, or not leaving a mess, but leaving stuff open. And some of them will just leave a hood up or whatever and walk off, and you have to kind of follow them back around. But uh, anyway, it's starting to pick up on the sprinkling, and there's old Black Betty. So I'm going to head that way. Uh, like I said, please subscribe. And uh, Barney, tell them. Tell them, say, you need to subscribe to mine and daddy's channel. We'd appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Me and Barney appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.